internet. Please tell me you can hear me. Please tell me you can hear the game. Why do I not see? Oh, there we go. Fucking move! Oh, how rude. What's wrong with you? Hello. So I'm still worried that people are not hearing me. First time catching this live. Well, welcome, Cardinal Wiggles. Glad you made it. You know what? I'll bet you. Hey, Soldier Hawk! I'm going to put on my headphones so that you don't get the game echoing back to you through my speaker, through my microphone. And I'm going to move the microphone closer to my face, which I would have done sooner if I was a professional. There we go. Oh, that's loud. All right. There we go. Now my audio is louder than the game. Now we have a stream. Okay, so I'm walking around jumping on top of the... Oh, sorry. Dang it, that was the wrong button. I was trying to climb up onto his car, because I'm trying to show you something. Now, in Saints Row, the Saints Row recognizes if you do this, and it allows you to car surf, where you do like this kind of... Just like grinding in Tony Hawk, you have to stay balanced to avoid falling off the car. And Cardinal Wiggles, thank you, so the audio is great. Wonderful. Um, this game allows you to car surf, sort of. Get going. <laughs> no! I thought he'd drive away. He'd be like, oh no, there's an assault in progress. They are physically incapable of reaching me. All right. So that definitively does not work. You cannot ride on top of cars. Let me get away from these guys. I mean, I could shoot them, but then I'd be chased by the police and that would ruin what I'm trying to do here. So other vehicles, you like if I get on top of a semi. And you can normally do this. Like, I think Trevor won't fall down when you do this. So you can't ride on cars, but you can ride on semi-trucks. Come on. See, before when I was doing this test, everybody would just drive away in a hurry when I did that. And now they all want to fight me. That's fine. That's fine. Everything's fine. This is... We can make this work. Anyway, the only point I'm trying to make is that this game has a weird relationship with you standing on top of vehicles. And the police look right through me, because I'm in a car that they don't know about yet. They haven't made this car yet. Now, now I want to find... Last week, um, I did a great big rampage, and just... Uh, I went through kind of my favorite spots to rampage where you can kind of rampage with impunity and the the police either can't get you or they can't effectively get you and somebody in the chat I don't know if it's somebody that's here now I, I forget who it was told me that the oh they forgot about me told me that riding the train is the ultimate cheese tactic. The AI absolutely cannot handle you getting on the train. And so I messed around with that this week. Now, we're not going to spend the whole stream doing this, but I thought we would do it once. Because it is massive. T oh, look at that timing. Here's the train. Now, can I get onto it without getting killed? Here we go. Physics! There we go. That's it. We're on the train now. Oh, 
All right. That made some noise. I totally planned that. An interesting thing about this train, I actually, I was wondering, do the trains follow a regular route? Because you see them on a train track here, and there's two tracks, right? There's, you know, one going the way we're going now, and one coming the other way. If I ride this train long enough, I'll end up looping all the way. We'll go all the way to the other side of this giant... You see how big this is? And the train will come all the way up here to the north side of the state or island or whatever. And then come all the way back. And on the way back, we'll be on the other side. Excuse me. We'll be on the other side of this track coming the opposite direction. So, and the trains seem to come by every couple minutes, even though doing a full loop takes like, you know, 15, 20 minutes. So there must be multiple trains, right? So why don't I ever see two trains passing each other? One going one way, one going the other way. So I... Oh no. Did the game just crash? Did my computer just... No? No, the stream's still going. I'm still streaming. Oh! No, the game just needed to take a little nap there. That's fine. That's fine. We're not... We're not in the middle of anything, Grand Theft Auto V. It's fine. Take a minute if you need it. So full circuit, like 10, 15 minutes, but a train comes along every couple. So my, I was curious. What's the deal here? Why does a train come along every couple minutes, but you never see more than one? Are there really multiple trains running the circuit? And you can prove that there are not. These trains are... Or... So the game spawns trains like cars whenever you need. That's exactly it, dude. Oh, is that, is that Paul? Hey, Paul. Um, maybe. I actually don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah. It spawns cars on the edge, just like it does with cars. It spawns you in, and then on the kind of on the edge of your visible range, it begins spawning dudes in. Or vehicles in on the edge of your visibility range. So I just saved the game. And now we go up here. Load game. And we're going to just load the game we just had. Yes. The chat is fancy and different now. And it should be in Varial. Yeah, it should be um, integrated properly. So not only should it be readable, but I can read it because it won't be tiny print. And it won't be cut off. Um, yeah, so it just should be generally nicer. All right. Again, Grand Theft Auto, we're not in a hurry or anything. There we go. And all of a sudden, we're, dude, where's my train? And you can see here it spawned one right on the edge of visibility that it is approaching me now. And once again, physics! Thank you. That's actually, if you screw that up, you die. You get hit by the train. I need to... Oh, there we go. So while rating the while riding the train, you're almost invincible. Almost, but not quite invincible. I just killed those people to keep my wanted level up, because I was worried that police would forget about me in this tunnel. There's no way to attract their attention here in the tunnel. You can't hurt the train that you're on, or any tra trains are... Trains are indestructible in this world. Oh wait, I don't want to do that because there's a low ceiling ahead. Ugh. It's better to stand on top of the train when you're trying to get your wanted level up. But, um, while you're through tunnels, every once in a while there'll just be a tiny little thing that reaches down just below head height and will shove you off and you'll fall down in into the space and have a sad time. 
All right. Oh, they forgot about me anyway. Did those, those, did those two people I killed mean nothing to you? And suddenly I can't aim today. None of that got us anything in the way of one of them. actually really hard to keep your wanted level up on this part of the of the route. Uh, they can't you can get your wanted level up once they really come after you then they'll be riding along like beside the train they'll be trying to get to the train and most importantly they'll send helicopters your way and then and then it's actually hard to keep your wanted level down. You keep sending the helicopters away and they keep, you know, coming back. But we'll, we'll deal with the helicopters in a minute, Soldier Hog. Hang on, let me do these murders. There we go, there's, there's a little bit more murder. I think, I think we need a touch more murder. Oh, well, we got three stars and that means it's time for these, these guys. And so I've killed a lot of helicopters over the past couple of days. You know, just... As you do. I found out the best place to shoot them. I always thought the best thing to do was shoot the pilot. Like I just did. But apparently it's also really good if you can't hit... If you're looking at it from the side, you hit the tail rotor. Or the tail fin? The tail fan? The thing on the back, what makes it not spin around. Because when that stops working, it starts spinning around. Once again, we can't... There we go. They're really being timid about sending me helicopters. Usually, by this point, by the time we're up to four stars, I'm just being hounded by helicopters. Uh, let's show off some broken physics. That was the wrong rocket launcher. It, he says. Wow. I've got to say that this city has an amazing helicopter budget. I mean, it's no Marlowe Briggs, but it's definitely up there. This heat-seeking missile actually doesn't know how to handle it when you're shooting out of a moving vehicle like this. You can see the, the stars are flashing at the top. The police have lost track of me. Because um, they don't... As far as the game's concerned, if you listen to the chat, as far as the game is concerned, I'm on foot. I'm not in a vehicle, and they act like you're, you're walking. So they aren't smart enough to track you to just, oh, he's on the train, we'll go after the train. They keep chasing you as if you're just running really fast. Already they've forgotten you. And whether or not they find you is often really dependent on where you are in the route. Some parts on the route are far from the road, and not a lot of hel helicopters can get around, and then they'll just forget about you. And other parts, you, you can't get them to forget about you no matter what you do. Oh, this gun sucks. Here's another interesting thing. So I shoot right at that thing, and you see it lands way behind. Because uh, the game does not give the inertia to my rockets. They, they, they emerge from the barrel of my rocket launcher with no, no in inertia. I think 
I think this was not an anticipated course of action. probably die doing this and that's part of the plan because um, the next What's place I want to go is the name? hospital so you have really got to lead these targets even though they're very close to you because the rockets immediately sort of as soon as they come out of your your rocket launcher they're going backwards from from this frame of reference it actually makes it really hard to hit stuff Oh, oh, don't fall on me. Don't, don't fall on me. Don't. What's interesting there is I gotta really admire the police on board that as they ride that doomed helicopter down to the surface, they continue trying to shoot you. That's pretty heroic. That was not so heroic. Does the train do a giant lap around the city? It will never stop. It will move forever in Vario. Um, there are several circuits of trains, um, but there, you only ever see one train at a time. For You know, you get on one, we won't see another one. Even if we pass other tracks that could have trains on them, and that if I wasn't on this one, it would spawn one on those other tracks. The chance for a hitchhiker event. Let's... Okay. I stopped by in the jet. You picked up a hitchhiker... You tried to pick up a hitchhiker in a jet. Fascinating. Fascinating. So would it be better or worse if it had let you do that? I don't know. Alright. Now for giggles, we can just try and see if we can get rid of this wanted level. So the police are going to chase this train without realizing they're chasing a train. They just act like I'm running really fast. Um, and we'll let the, them chase the train for a while. Wait, there's a helicopter right above us. Oh, no, he moved off. This is one of the spots where it's hard to shake them because there's kind of a path the police can follow right beside the train here. Um, you see that motorcycle. There's a road on that side, and then in a little while, there'll be a road on the opposite side. But we'll let this go. Let me read some chat. To the police, they are facing the flash. I suppose they are. So it is a consistent lap. Yes. No, no, they never leave. The train never leaves the world and never stops. Hitting the jet is hitting the jet is single seat. I'd like to try and pick up a helicopter, or pick up a hitchhiker in a helicopter, and see what the game does with that. Because those definitely have more than one seat. So you can see it spawns these helicopters behind me, and then they chase the train, but they can't quite keep up. The helicopters are really interesting because they just sort of plow after you at their fastest speed, but they are not good at planning ahead. So they'll barrel forward, and then we'll come to like, there'll be something just directly in their way, like a, a, um, an electrical tower, really tall one that gets in their way. And they'll sort of slam on the brakes, pull up, and go over it, instead of just gently going around it. So they're, they're not super smart about following, and normally they don't. They're designed to follow cars on the road. And you wouldn't notice any of this, but when you're doing this sort of AI-breaking shenanigans, everything goes haywire. Um, so all the all the helicopters are chasing are chasing the train now. None of them are in front of us. 
if one of them goes out of view or like falls too far behind, it'll take that one out of the game world and spawn a new one that might come from in front of us. This train sequel is looking interesting. There's a callback. Alright. I like that they just keep driving past the train going, I don't know, I haven't seen him in ages. Maybe he's on the other side of that train. No? Oh, and it's all done. And... Physics! Like... Earlier, a car accelerated to 15 miles an hour, and the game made me fall off the roof. I gotta call my dad. But this then, stepping off that fast-moving train, instantly, no problem, just step off onto the ground. No inertia. Don't take a tumble. Now, where are we? Technically, I was going to go back to the hospital. Let's call a taxi. Would you send out a cab post? You carry more Without weapons than ten to a two guys. At this work. point, it's hard to expect realistic physics. Well, that's kind of my point. Like Basically this it. is realistic physics. It'll make me fall off. Damn, Oops! Fucking time. Oh, fuck. <laughs> He's so angry that I fell off his car. Um, it does it there. But then getting off the much faster moving train, it doesn't care. Oh! That's my... Uh, let's see. You know what? We should stop by ammunition before we do any shenanigans. So let's go to the one in Pillbox Hill that we always go to. I promise I probably won't go on a rampage there again. So where do you want to go? Pillbox! Cab in the middle of the desert one minute. Yeah, that's actually, House Absolute, that's actually less realistic than the magic train physics. Hey, we're here. Alright. I don't think these NPCs Jeez, talk like about it. It's so crazy. Do we have... We have 25 sticky bombs. I just discovered this the other day. I... I had no idea. Okay. Things I want to fill up my minigun and I'd like hit this button. Like I'd have to sit here and flutter this button for ages. Apparently you can press X and buy all the bullets in one key press. And I didn't even know. And the prompt is right there in the bo bottom of the screen. But it's called Toggle? I don't know why it's called that, but fine. But yes, there is a thing that lets you buy all the ammo without having to buy it, you know, at ten at a time or whatever. Fill up your 10,000 bullet cap ten at a time. No, I don't want the Griswold. Let's, let's take the convertible. Pardon me, man. Yes, you don't mind, sir. do you? Out you go. We're going to go to a place, I, um, I've been rampaging the past few weeks, but I've always just ran red lights like that. I've always just fought police, and I'm always someplace where I'm under shelter, uh, so that the helicopters can't get to me. 
And because it's just so hard to fight the police and helicopters, you just die so quickly that it's not really worth it. You have to cut it down so you're only dealing with helicopters or only dealing with the police. But I couldn't find a place where I could find fight only helicopters. You can get shelter from helicopters, but where can you go to get shelter from the police? Well, I found a spot. See if I can get this on the first try. It requires a little bit of shenanigans. Yeah, there we go. Uh, the Krellin, what's the blue light? Um, that's my blue LED lamp that I use because I, I want to light up my face so that I'm not just this silhouette. But I can't stand having white lights in my face. It just... Ugh. It actually kind of makes me feel physically ill. But I love colored lighting, maybe because of my days of 90s gaming, when colored lighting was, you know, the future. So... Uh, yeah. I use colored lighting in here when I want to light it up. Behind me, the purple light is just um, Halloween lights that are just, you know, Christmas lights, but for Halloween. Uh, Alright. Once again, I notice I have my frame counter on the screen. Go away. There we go. All right, now, any minute now, we should get, yep, there he is, helicopter. Now, they kind of play peekaboo with you over the rooftops. The blue LED was a Nobel Prize winning invention. I was surprised when I heard it. But I, I was surprised to find out it was a hard problem to solve, which that should have been obvious since... We didn't have them when I was young, and then they showed up. But apparently that was, you know, a really hard problem to solve. There we go. Oh, that felt good. I mean, that was, that was terrible. That was terrible. Sure thing, Austin V. One, two, 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 two. Why were blue LEDs a hard problem to solve? I don't know. I read, I read the explanation of it, but it, a lot of it was kind of over my head a little bit. I mean, it's too technical for you. I understood, it, obviously. See, I hit the tail fan, and see ya. Although we don't get to see the explosion, which is the whole point of doing this at night, is we sort of make our own fireworks. Oh, I forgot to re refill the homing launcher. One of the things I wanted to show off is how much the homing launcher sucks. You can only carry 10 shots, in it, as opposed to the dumb fire one, which carries 20. And the homing rockets have trouble hitting the helicopters. Tail fan. Boom. Fireworks. Who is shooting at me here? Is the, the, the key to this spot is they can't path to me because I had to do that weird jump. So the police can't get here. So the guys on the ground, as long as I don't get too close to the edge here, they can't hit me from the ground. So all I have to worry about is getting shot by helicopter. Come on, it, helicopters, if you want to get shot down, you have to come around to this side of the building. Come on, guys, you can do it. Alright, I'll shoot this one down. Dispatch, 
fireworks. That's pretty. Yeah. Oh, I might miss. Yeah. Hold still. Or go behind the building. You know, people are getting bored here. This is supposed to, you, Usually when I do this, it's super just... Just this frantic shooting down of helicopters. This continuous onslaught of fearless helicopters just dancing in front of my rocket launcher. So this is a little atypical that they're getting caught behind this building and I'm not sure what's causing it. There we go. See, that wasn't so hard. Now just hold still and I'll give you your medicine. Yeah, there we go. There you go. See that better? You too. They don't want to die. Well, then why did they answer this call? So that's the only way this could have... Oh, you sneaky guy. It's a shame it's raining tonight. It's a terrible night. With terrible weather for fireworks like this. But we'll make it work. I'm worried these guys are getting bored. It's hard to it's hard to throw something down at them without there we go. There we go. See, I didn't forget about you guys. You matter. And let's do a little mini gun. So anyway, after a few minutes of this, it really starts to feel like Marlow Brace. It's just this constant helicopter and you start wondering, where did they get so many helicopters? Waiting for one of the dying helicopters to fall on me, Florian? It, it's come close. I actually wouldn't mind. That would be hilarious. It's ha It's been close, but it's never quite happened. I've had one land on this platform, I think, like right there while I was standing here. But I didn't get caught in the explosion. Oh! Sorry, I didn't see you there. Oh, you left. Alright, this is probably going to get boring if we do this for too long and we have other things to see. But this just... Oh, isn't that pretty? Let's do a few more. We need backup. We need backup. Oh, you exploded on the far side of the building. Oh. Oh, tail first. That was cool. It's over, says the cop on the ground, who's completely irrelevant to these proceedings. Oh, this is going to be a good one. Oh wow, the, the rotors just stopped on that one. Is that even physically possible for them to come to a complete stop in one second? Seems like that would, short of removing them from the helicopter, I don't see how that's possible. I'm, I've been led to believe they move fairly quickly. He's not coming back from that.
people in chat can ignore it and report the bot, Twitch bans them pretty fast and that solves the ch problem for all channels. Yeah, if you see a bot, please, um, like the one I just gave a shout out to a few minutes ago, like a complete rube, uh, yeah, just, uh, report them or whatever you do. And look at that pretty reflection in the rain. That is so nice. You know what would look even better is a fireball explosion. Oh, can you help me with that? No, you're going to go behind the building again. This is so disappointing. It was just continuous helicopters. I did this for so long the other day, like probably a couple hours. And it was just this continuous parade of helicopters waiting to be shot out of the sky. And now they're all being caged and hiding behind this building. They're on to me. I wish I could get onto... Up onto this thing. That would get me a little further from the guys on the ground. And it would enable me to shoot at these helicopters that are playing peekaboo with us. Oh! Don't die behind the building. Now you died for nothing. Los Santos at night reminds you of Pixel City. I'd love to revisit that idea. If I had more time to spend on programming, that's definitely what I would be doing right now. The city gen generation. Oh, that's going to be a good one. Yes, that is a good one. I notice those fireballs don't appear in the environment now, in this reflection in the water, and that's kind of disappointing. Oh, did you see the guy fly out of that helicopter as it, like it, it begins spinning really intensely and they just fly out from the forces? Have I ever landed my helicopter on the airship? What airship? <gasps> on the blimp? You once did it as Michael on a mission with his whole family and then after you blew up the ship you all skydive to death. It's a nice trip. That's amazing. There, he flies out again. So I wonder if they're jumping or being thrown out. An interesting note is the AI is smart enough, there's, there's one guy sticking out of each side of the helicopter. And the AI is smart enough that if you kill a guy on one side, if I kill this guy, he's dead. The helicopter swings around so the guy on the other side can shoot at me. But then I can just shoot him in the tail thing and put an end to that. Yay! Pretty fireworks. Oh, that's gonna be a good one. Thank you, species. Were you going for a Lynch cosplay or did you stumble into it? I don't understand that reference. Nobody move. Fall back. How many... Okay, so how much does a helicopter cost? I sh we should have been counting these. We should have been watching our health bar. Is what we should have been doing. Lynch, your favorite game, Kane and Lynch. Yeah. Can you shoot all passengers and steal the helicopter? 
I had seen a helicopter land. I killed the pilot and it was really close to the ground and it just sort of flopped down, but I was on the train, so I don't know what became of it, if it's drivable afterwards. Uh, Mads, Mads, you absolutely can steal the blimp. I stole the blimp and drove it to the altruist compound. Uh, what's interesting about the altruist, okay, in the game there's this cult up in the mountains. Somewhere, where are they? Somewhere in this region, I think. Or maybe they're here. I don't know. Some place on this western edge of the map, way to the north, there's a cult of cannibals. And Trevor can pick up hitchhikers and deliver them to the altruists for a thousand dollars a head. You I stole the blimp you normally can't get in there. I stole the blimp once. Flew into the altruist compound. You can only get the front door open if you're selling people to them. And that's a cutscene. So you can't like go in. So I got the, um, the blimp. Landed inside the compound. And I found that they actually modeled full frontal male nudity in this game. There is an old man in there with, no, with a shirt and no pants. In full detail. And it made me sorry I went there. Imagine the people in the apartments, the just rain of helicopters falling on their heads. Quick Googling puts police helicopters at around $120,000. So I wonder how many we shot down. That sounds about right. That's, that sounds about right. When you see a movie or a video game, everybody talks about $100,000. $150,000 for a helicopter, so that, that seems right in that ballpark. Anyway, I wanted to show you something. It has to do with this fire hydrant. No. Okay, stop that. Stop it. Now, I'm just going to walk right into this water. Why did that happen? Let's do it again. Fire hydrants have a lot of pressure. Oh, sorry, dump truck. I mean, I'm not actually sorry. Okay, here, we can do it this way. Ugh, and we just get thrown around. Or I can get out that C4 that I'm carrying around. Oh, too slow. Okay, I did that one myself. So what's happening is if you have C4 in your hand, for whatever reason, walking over the the fire the the jet of water sets off the C4 in your hand. Boop. <laughs> Cardinal Wiggles. London has three helicopters for police use. Well, apparently Los Santos has dozens. I wonder how many total we shot down. Maybe when I... Maybe I'll do a count when I upload this to YouTube. And figure out how many. You Excuse me, gentlemen. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Krillin says blue LEDs require very highly efficient energy transfer. Red light is low energy. Yeah, this is like the thing I read a while ago and I got about halfway through it and I was like, oh, somebody, somebody this just seems like hard there. to understand. Okay, now. Hey, get back here! You're pathetic! This is something every once in a while in this game about crimes, um, you can be Batman and just stop muggings. There, I just picked up five hundred dollars. 
But when I'm playing as Trevor, and I could take this back to the person that was just robbed. They're right over there. See that lady standing there? That lady. I could have returned the money to her, but, you know, to Trevor? Trevor decides to keep the $500 and add it to his bank account of $24 million Because Trevor. Tax dollars hard at work. Oh, nice driving shoes. Oh, these muscle cars are so heavy. You're being a real nut. Oh, come on, police cat. Give me a break. I stopped a mugger. Whoa, whoa. Let's see if we can get rid of these guys. Just the old fashioned way. No. That's not how you do it. Do I remember Angel Summoner and BMX Bandit? Yes. I still think of that skit to this day. From Mitchell and Webb look, that is a phenomenal skit. There, that's for you. Oh, I was trying to get rid of the police. Right, right. I forgot what I was doing. Come on. Oh! No, 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 no. Don't explode next to me. can be quite challenging when you're trying to watch chat and the map and the road. Oh, come on. This is another thing. You know how um, we were on the train and the police just chased after me even though they couldn't see me. It kept spawning them around me. They do sort of just know where you are, but they give up if they don't see you for a while, which is a weird way to handle this abstraction of them chasing you. I'm also impressed with Trevor's arm accuracy out the window. It is really good. Miss me! And I have just made an incorrect turn. And I believe there is no exit down here. <laughs> Clearly the chat is most important. It, why is somebody shooting at me? Oh, security guards. I didn't think... I always forget security guards kind of count as police. <laughs> what are you guys doing on foot? Did they get out of their cars and then their cars despawned? How did that happen? Why would you guys arrive to a car chase on foot? I can see this was supposed to be a short car chase where I just shook the police and forgot about them. But we're at three stars and we've done some murders. And I can tell this is just this is just gonna keep getting worse, especially now that we have a popped tire and a helicopter. You don't get away from the helicopter. Except... Oh, okay, this is really annoying now. Shoot the tires, my tires are already popped.
you guys, you, you bring this on yourselves. And there goes my tire again. I realize this is the most boring way to get rid of the police, but I'm gonna check chat here once, once we're out of view. I have to be careful, these poles, unlike all the other poles in the game, which just knock down if you kick them, these are indestructible, and if you hit them fast enough, you'll go alpha wind shield. So, this game, it's like every object you can run into is is a little different and they don't follow any kind of it. You can't intuit how dangerous it is to hit something. Some things are balsa wood and some things are made of adamantium. And you don't know until you hit it face first. There was an explosion upstairs and it wasn't my fault. helicopters to a bazooka fight that tire lasts in less than a second the, it they always do they are really good at shoot they're much better at shooting tires than they are at shooting the plane speaking of tires um this game has a feature where you can buy cars well first of all it has a feature where you oh, Okay, I'm, I'm I'm done with this. I'm done with this car. Oh, come on! You know, I just... Oh, you're killing me here. It has a feature where every... Every one of your three players down there in the left... Or in the right hand lower corner... All three of those people... Have their own car. It always shows up outside of their safe house. That's the card that's always available for you when you, like, switch back to... It. No matter what they're doing, you can look around and find their car nearby. And that's cool. It's a good convenience feature, and it, it characterizes each of them. Kind of shows, you know, who they are and where they are in life by what kind of car they drive. But then, you know, you make some money, you do some heists, and you get access to, um... The, you know, you, you get the money so that you can start buying better cars. Oh, let's buy some homing rockets. So, I assumed when I bought a car... The secret Wakandan listening poles. Yes, that's what those poles were. So, I assumed when I bought a car, it would kind of obey the same rules as... as your assigned car in the game your character's face. car and it doesn't it it obeys the same rules as random cars that you pick up like this motorcycle that i stole that if i get too far from it it just vanishes for the world from the world um there's a lockup that stores like the two most recently cars you drove but once it's full it just keeps those cars, it doesn't keep replacing them. So it's always just filled with a couple cars from the beginning of the game. And I don't know why those cars would, I could go back and recover them, but why would I recover them? Wouldn't they go back to the people they that I stole them from? But whatever. The point is, you buy a car in this game, you buy yourself some souped up sports car, dump a quarter of a million dollars into it, paint it, customize it, everything's nice. And then you get in a fender bender, the police catch you, and the car vanishes forever. Gone. All that money wasted. Which means there's no reason to buy a car unless you want to gently put it back in your garage every time you're done driving it. That's the only way to make sure that it doesn't despawn, is to put it back in your garage. Which again, it, that's useless for doing... What was that you just deliberately you tried to hit? It just makes the entire car buying mechanic completely useless. Why would you spend all that money on a car that you have to, like, look after, take care of? Um, 
that's silly. Why doesn't it work like the other cars that you own? It's very frustrating. How does Trevor be... So in a game filled with realism, how does Trevor's invincibility fit into that? It doesn't. The series is never... I mean, if you get arrested... Hang on. Let's, let's take a look at these stats, because this is interesting. The game keeps... No. Track of your criminal stats. How many times have you died? How many times have you been arrested? Um, but you see, time's busted. Zero. I've never been arrested in this game and I don't think it's possible. What is that? What is it? You see, it's the fourth one down there. What is that statistic for? The police begin shooting at you as soon as you have a wanted level. I mean, even if all you did was gently nudge into a police car and get in a fender bender. I've had them T-bone me where like they hit me by changing lanes into me or whatever. They get out of the car and begin shooting. So, how is it possible to get arrested? In the previous games, they would try to arrest you, but I don't get it in this game. Anyway, the, the series never acknowledges if you get busted, you just walk out of the police station, you know, six game hours later. And if you die, you just respawn at the hospital. I like that because it keeps the game kind of, you know, immediate and fun and doesn't keep reverting you to checkpoints. Um, but yeah, it's just this weird ex abstraction within the game. Maybe this game is conspiracy. If you're in a car and stationary, they'll pull you out and arrest you. I did not know that. That's, I guess I've never sat still in a car. If they're trying to come to the car, I'm usually trying to keep them from getting too close to me. Maybe by encouraging them go, to go away with bullets. Sometimes they drag you out of your car and arrest you. Oh yeah, let's look at the crime stats. Cops killed 2,600. Noose, which is the SWAT team guys, is another 2,000. Wanted stars attained. So I've got a little bit, wanted stars attained 1,000, and I've evaded over 600 of them. So eh, my, my odds of escaping wanted level are around two-thirds, which isn't that great. Time spent with a five-star wanted level. Seven hours. It wasn't me. It was my little brother was playing the game. Don't blame me. I've never stolen a plane. I've stolen two bicycles. I don't remember doing that. Kills since last checkpoint? Seven? Hmm. <laughs> Your kill count is lower than I would have expected after seeing you on stream, I suppose. In Midnight Club, their racing game from 2008 where you can pull over, the camera changes to the cop's dash cam, and you can drive off while the cop scrambles to get back behind the wheel. I love that. Why don't they... That sounds like a fun feature. Uh, let's see. I've spent 14 hours driving cars. Um, I've spent $386,000 on health care, but I've spent $750,000 on guns and ammo. That's really me refilling the, uh, the minigun and the rocket launcher and the sticky bombs. Those are just crazy expensive, like ten grand a pop to fill those up, and it goes quick. Are the three ca characters completely separate? Yeah, yeah. Crimes. We go over to Michael. He's killed. Yeah. Trevor has killed 2,600 cops. Michael's killed 40. And 
Franklin's killed 20. Oh, Franklin never gets caught. Yeah, I, I obey the laws as Franklin. I always want Franklin to be a nice young man. Or at least when I'm doing assassinations, I like to imagine he's good at them and not just some murder thug. I kind of want him to be like the hitman, the ghost. I like getting away with assassinations, you know, with no wanted level or, you know, never getting into a big... <laughs> never getting into a big violent chase. Trying to get away clean. Meanwhile, with Trevor, I kind of feel like if... Why, why do I have a wanted level? Why do I have a wanted level? What was that for? I mean, I had it before I blew up that car, so... Goal? Was I supposed to be showing you? I just could have sworn I was going to show you something. Something I was going to do on stream. And I forget what it is. This is actually really bad, um, being on a bike. Because if you're in a car, the car pro provides a lot of protection from uh, bullets, and obviously motorcycle does not. Oh, don't hit me. I'm in a hurry. Tell the cops about me, and I'll let you live. Can you use your invulnerability on the motorbike? You absolutely cannot. Oh, is that the invulnerability you were talking about earlier? Yeah, his special power of making him invulnerable. Totally not acknowledged by the game, other than he's just too crazy to die. Can you actually... Surrender to the police. I guess if you only have a two-star wanted level you can although I've never done that uh, But yeah, once you get up to the higher stars. No, they 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 just they just do the murders So how do we get out of oh here we go All right, and I guess we're back home the old strip club Right back where we started. I should get arrested. Maybe that's how we'll end the stream. First, I'm working on my motorcycle helmet collection here. Come on, put one on for safety. Oh wait, we're gonna wait for him to, he has to be on the motorcycle before. There we go. Four is the most I've ever seen on the ground. Let's see, if he takes this off, will it make one of the others despawn? Oh, 
Maybe we'll get five helmets on the ground. Oh, no. There, one of them despawned. Uh, yeah, Krellin, it's it's three or four. That's I think that's all it can give you. Come on, out of the car, lady. All right. Hell no. Now this is gonna seem mean, but this is for science. You only have yourself to blame. And you only have yourself to blame, according to Trevor. Wow, you are tough. I think I just found Bruce Willis's mom. Is nobody gonna call? Is nobody gonna call the police? You call the police. Insult her. You don't look tough, pal. Shit. Listen, nobody likes you. That tough guy act is ridiculous. I bet you have a vagina. I'm gonna make you suffer. Punish me. Fucking if you want to cheese your way through a fist fight, you flutter the right trigger, which is your punch button, and the A button, which is sprint. And the game, the game's like, oh, you want to sprint now, and it cancels out because there's like a cooldown between punching, but going into sprint mode cancels that cooldown, so you can just keep going all right uh oh no we're trying to we're trying to test police chasing me you're dead take him down we have a visual all right I like how Trevor gets out. I mean, it's kind of funny. Ammo and body armor, but they left me with my guns. All right. Actually, that was really expensive. If they took all my ammunition, wow. It's a good thing it's hard to get busted. Wow, that's gonna cost me a hundred thousand dollars to fill up again. Well, let's not do any more science. Yeah, dying has a cap. Dying will cost you five thousand dollars. Excuse me, five thousand um, dollars. At most five thousand. It's like some percent of your money or five thousand, whichever is less. Oh, can I hit my head? Yes! That was beautiful. I'm gonna call that a stream. Yeah, we've been doing this for a little over an hour. Let's call that a stream. Oh. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for coming, everybody. I will see you oh, next week. Um, I'll probably announce this on my blog, but I'll tell you now. It's daytime now. I hate streaming during the daytime. Um, it wasn't a problem today, but at this time of day, the sunlight comes in from behind me and shines on my monitor, and it sucks. So I don't want to stream. Now that we've changed the clocks, I don't want to stream at this time. So probably next week, we're going to move this back um, a couple of hours. Somewhere in there. I know that sucks for you people in Europe. That means it'll be like 1 a.m., 2 a.m. for you somewhere in that ballpark. Sorry. Um, next winter, it'll probably be early again. Thanks, everybody. See ya.